There's two things I'm hoping real quick. That the game comes on PlayStation 4. And that we give So did you watch last night's game? What did you think? I mean, he's just been on an absolute streak. I don't know how you don't call him a top five player in the league right now. Easily top five. Who's I don't know how anyone can say he's not top ten. Top oh five. my goodness! Me. Top three. It's a Cunha argument. Uh, I think it could happen. I mean, if you're asking, hopefully it's on PS4. That's a Cunha. Oh, dude, I'm at, I just want one more PlayStation Four. Game. All right. I can vibe this. I can vibe this. This soundtrack actually might slap this year too. I don't know. It slapped last year with the roof. Wando Franco. Lauren <laughs> Luffa King Edition. Oh my goodness. I'm reading this chat. It's hilarious. It's a Cunha. It's all right. It is a Cunha. I also heard Mini Ramirez. I don't think it's Mini. 1 p.m. Camp here and Tinker. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Who is it? Who is it? Hello, everyone. I'm Ramon Russell from the San Diego what Studio up, Ramon? MLB The Show development team. Thank you so much for I've all your support for MLB The Show 23. Since... Now it's time to reveal our cover oh, athlete for MLB The Show 24 I'm OG, and I'm so much more. Yeah. We did something really special. Uh, we hope that you're going to love it. Uh, we wanted okay. to take a little bit deeper dive into our cover athlete, his background, his okay. roots, and how he became to be such an amazing human being and all person right. and baseball player. So, Here's Ride to Reveal. Hope you like it. We'll be back. Ride to Reveal. Okay. Oh. Uh, Dominican. Just the Cunha. Welcome, everybody. We are in the Dominican Republic in the middle of nowhere. It's the country of the flow. We got beautiful beaches. We got amazing mountains and beautiful people. And we are about to do the right review of the cover athlete of the year 2024 for the show. Llévalo, llévalo, llévalo. Te vas o te quedas. Dale, dale. I gotta go with this guy right here. <laughs> but I'm about to show you what's gonna happen. I... Oh, man. Oh, oh, dale. Oh, by the way, I'm running oh, my really You know, all right, man. Me, oh. not me, not always. Hey, hey, what's up, gang, gang? What's up, dog? What's going on? What's going on? Gladio. What's up, Bobby? Hey, man, first time in the country. Tell me about it. Oh, it's a beautiful country. I don't know why it's taking me so long to come here. So thank you all for having us. We were so happy to be here revealing the cover of MLB The Show 24 in the most realistic, organic way possible here in the Dominican Republic. Well, this always in the first time, you know, I mean, I was part of it 17 years ago and now having the right reveal yeah, of the cover of the that. year. Uh, for 2024, it's uh, it's something amazing. Hello, you. You know, tú sabes que lo que. Yeah, man. Tell me about it, man. I love the island, man. I'm a Puerto Rican, as you guys know, but the R is always gonna be my my second home. The food's amazing, uh, people amazing. Home is one of the, the best baseball players in the world mm. in the history. You already know. You already said it all. It's the Dominican Republic, man. It's like you guys know as well. Person, my homie. MLB is always taking care of business. This bus is right in the front by a guy that we call the pitcher. He's the one in charge of making sure that everybody's comfortable and everybody know the place to go and where to make the stops. I'm kind of getting familiar with sitting down here. You know, I kind of miss this right here. This bus ride and stuff like that. Ah, oh, man. When I was like around 17, when I first signed as a professional ball player, this is where used to take me to the field, you know, this type of bus. So, I'm kind of familiar with it. So get used Take to you it, back Raymond. to memory lane. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, here in the Dominican, man, I mean, you're going to see so many 
buses like this one or motorcycle everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Because traffic is crazy. It's yeah. worse than LA traffic. That's right. Are, here and in, in, in Christmas, yes. try to go to like, La Capital. Oh, boy. It's crazy. From here it's really to the crazy. corners, like an hour. He get crazy. He crazy. Get crazy. So the best way to go is, you know, motorcycle, see motorcycle. Chat. You uh-huh. see That's two, two on top, three. Like I said, my first year playing You've been on the cover before. before. How, how did it feel for you being on the cover and being back working with MLB Show yet? I'll tell you what, man. I was so excited. Because you know what? Being a number B athlete, being young, getting to know that all the people your age are going to be playing with you is something that turned out to be very sad to me back you. then. Home run derby? Home run derby. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I'll be whacking 30. 30. That's right. That's right. 30 <laughs> That's, That's right. Big poppy. No breaks. My home you know how it is? Mineral I mean, runs. the most important thing is that once you get to see that cover for first time, that he home. The funny part about it when I was part of the cover was when I was handing to my family and friends, everybody was like, oh, wow, is that you? Like, yes, that's me. <laughs> as a Latino, that's, that's, a, that's, big a, big, no, that's a big inspiration for all of us. Everyone in the Caribbean, everyone in Latin America, per se, you know, you see everyone, kids from Venezuela saying, oh, I could do that. Yep, you know, representation is important. That's right. Y'all yeah. did it. It's a weekend day is just motivation. It was motivation. Yeah, we love all our cover athletes. That's right. All of our Latin American cover athletes. It just hits differently. That source of family hit. pride and everybody seeing it. It's just really been amazing. It hits. And, and 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 let me tell you, me personally, this kid that we're about to have on the cover for next year, his family to me. I don't want to give more details. <laughs> people won't guess it. I, people gonna know who I'm talking wait. about. But don't have to yes, up. yes, but be patient because we're going there now. I know this is a little shaky <laughs> right here. All right, man, we're close, man. What's this? What the hell? No! No! Wait! No! Oh, no. Tranquilo. oh man! So glad to have you here, man. Our community is probably so happy that you're on the cover because, you know, we've had this relationship with you for a while. We're super excited. How excited are you and your family and also to have your friends be a part of this? Man, I'm I'm excited. You know, I've been playing with us as a little kid and now I'm the cover. You know, I'm really excited. We're here in the VR because we want it to be very authentic and to be able to tell your story. So tell us how you started playing baseball as a little kid to today, now you're on the cover of MLB The Show 24. I started with my dad, you know, doing tea, now like four or five years. Then I started to try out. But when I know I, I got everything in me is when I got like Robert 13, 12. And my dad told me, hey, you, you're probably doing better than me. But I said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I know this kid since he was like seven or eight years old. Mm-hmm. I remember when we used to come to I Anaheim see to what play. The looks like, I personally used to go to Vladdy's house. Walking into the house, this guy was swinging at everything at the age of seven. <laughs> and I used to be like, Vladdy, did he ever get tired? He's like, that's what he do all day. <laughs> then Eladio, how do you know Vlad? Man, damn, we through through music and sports, man. Like right. I've always said, you know, Music and sports always go hand to hand. They listen to us, yeah. and we are amazed at what they do. Like they find what we do amazing, we find what they do amazing also. That mutual like, respect. Baseball and the DR are like connected at the hip. Where do you think that real strong connection between the sport of baseball and the DR in Latin America in general started? Because you know, Major League Baseball is one of the most diverse sports yeah, out yeah, there. Bro. It's over 30% Latin American players. Where do you think that all started? Well, first of all, yeah, I like the color. it became to be in a sport that is, is basically on our blood, you know? But then it became to be a way out. It's a way out for like us to take care of our family, to have a better lifestyle, you know, because a lot of us, we come from nothing. You know what I'm saying? So once we figured out that baseball, it's a way out. We take that personal. We learn the discipline, the dedication, 
you know, all the stuff that comes along with. And we, here we are, you know, making a difference. You see a lot of stories, like a lot of backgrounds, and you see like a certain pattern. A lot of great players went through a certain type of struggle. Uh-huh. And that's part of, you know, greatness. And like, especially a lot of the stories in VR, like people having to walk to the field four hours, having to take buses for a couple hours just to like, to see if they get a spot on the team. You know, that's something you see here. Flatty, how does it feel to have your cover reveal for MLB The Show 24 happen in your hometown in the Dominican Republic? For me, that's, like that's amazing, colors. you know. You grow up here and you bring it here to a hometown. It's, it's, it's crazy, crazy. It's crazy. Like, uh, yeah, we were talking earlier, like this is the first time the we've done this. Because normally, like, you came to San Diego a few times. Right. Normally, we'll have everybody come to the studio. But we was like, no, let's be more intentional. Let's start to tell deeper stories about our cover athletes and their culture and their heritage and the music that they love. Because we love sharing. And baseball is one of those sports that just brings people together. So, one, thank you all so much for amazing hospitality we've had since we've been here. Your family has been incredible treating us like kings we ain't going to leave <laughs> y'all gonna have to kick us Stay out Stay throughout christmas <laughs> like i said i mean no hey it does look nice I like the colors. so we're about to get to a very important place in the dominican Republic baseball players heritage and lifestyle and how they grew up can you tell know, us about man. that growing up here playing baseball and where we're about to go see i grew up walking all the street going everywhere you know and and this is my favorite field you know, it's your favorite field. Yeah, this one. Out of all of them. Yeah, that one. Why is it so special? Because that one is the one made me, saw me crying, saw me grow up. You know, and that's why it made me like happy to, to you, come yeah. here and show you guys. It's like home. Yeah, it's, it's like another home. Yeah. And, it, and the baseball field still here, still standing. It's Kids still are still here. playing there. Yeah. This is basically his backyard right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, there is always that one place where you grow up, that one place that you know. You can go to the best stadium on earth even once you get to the big league in that one place it's gonna be staying right here so i'm pretty sure that's how you feel about this place your home is where the heart is the academy of baseball this is the field i grew up when you're starting to play here, the little one, six to eight, and the other side, eight to 10, and the left oh, field, left field. 11 to 12, and the center field, and 13 to 14. Yeah. So it's multiple games yeah. going on at and, once. And, 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 and uh, 15, 16 playing the big and the, the big one. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. And David, you said you remember playing this field too. There weren't any walls, right? No, no, uh, yeah. When I came here, he was a little kid. His oh, father know, invited me to a softball game. Here and uh, it was no wall. It was, it was basically in a space in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like but I was wondering, how many like times you hit that building over there? Well, the spring they put for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they build the screen up so he don't hit the house. I'm rolling. Vamos, vamos. There you go. Para la bola, Come on, little puppy, let's go. Little puppy. Yeah. Oh, ah, nice. Oh. <laughs> this is beautiful man. this is beautiful this is where you hone your skills like not, not only is this home but this is literally your neighborhood my neighborhood yeah you live like right down the street yeah that's crazy that's crazy that's right what is this these fields now that there's a wall there's so many oh, kids yeah. playing what do these fields really mean to you and your community as you're trying to hone your skills and potentially get to that next level of baseball yeah, that, that means a lot you know and we, we work in try to pull lights so lights and heels you know so we work in and do a lot of stuff in this field you know we, we grow up here my dad like really grow up here without right. no wall no wall no doghouse nothing Do you ever think that you'd be here? To be honest, no, because I wasn't that good at baseball when I was a kid. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty good fielding, but I was so <laughs> afraid of the ball, bro. I couldn't oh do it, God. but, you know, God had another plan, no. so through the music, you know, I could be here with, with two legends today, man. Yeah, that's what's and up. I'm really good friends with them, so that's the best part of it, that's too. That's crazy how just this sport really brings people together from all sorts of cultures and communities. It's like a universal language, you know, even though I may not speak Spanish. Spanish. We can speak baseball. That's like, right. We can yeah. see the sport That's being played right. on the field. But Ramon, let me tell you, Eladio, for us, 
means everything. You know, I mean, we don't go and take over the field with our music. There is not one player that go out there without putting their heads up uh, uh, or playing the music in the clubhouse to get motivated sure because his words. I got to get good bunch. Yeah. I thought we'll get, we'll get back to that. But let me show you guys. It's official. It is yeah. like, like, like when we yeah. listen yeah. to his music, we let's go. That's crazy. That's, that's you know crazy. what I'm saying? This is where we come good. from. That's, that's Baseball player in the Dominican. I, I guarantee you that so every much. baseball player you may hear grow up in something like this. I, I did it a gazillion years ago. Yeah. He did it the other day. He's a kid. Me and his dad, we go back, you know, growing up together, playing together. It seems like things never change. You mentioned that this is the earliest baseball field you remember playing on. What is one of your earliest baseball memories? I have a lot, you know, when uh, uh, I like to talk about my dad when I when I was a little and, you know, seeing here and see Ed Poppy, my dad playing here, so, but, you know, like little kid, you know, and, and then grow up and play here in the same, in the same field, you know, maybe like, okay, I'm doing it, you know, I'm doing it, and, and now I'm the cover, you know, it's, it's amazing. Full circle. Yeah. Wait, pero señores. Vladi, Vladio, you guys been crushing Dominican food for years. I know you into the fried chicken. En Sancocho, o sea, Sancocho, de, de, de Sancocho, los plátanos, oh, dime. Plato, lo mejor que hay. Ay, papá, güey, you, you try the Dominican plantain. Plátanos, fritos, con pollo. But I'm going to tell you what, man. Once you try the fried chicken from here, you're going to want to put them in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had some very good fried chicken in my day as a man from the South, so I'm excited about this. What was the other dish? Uh, you Sancocho. Sancocho. Yeah. But that like oh, there's there's different varieties of sancocho like they have Colombian sancocho, Puerto Rican sancocho. For me, I'm Puerto Rican, and I gotta say, man, Dominican sancocho, uh, that's it's amazing. Always. It's another level. Huh? It's, like, it's like a like a, just like a gumbo. That's right. It's like yeah, yeah like a gumbo. Like, I get excited for food, man. Yes, I know what your favorite yeah. food is then. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's it's up there. That's top three. What's your favorite food, Vlad? Mine is moro guandule con chivo. What's that? This uh rice and. And then go. Yeah. <laughs> I love me some go. <laughs> go see and go. That's right. Go see and go. Yeah, I like that. Right. That's, right. Yeah, that's right. Go see and go. By the way, his abuela, his Grammy, she is an amazing cook. She made food for the home team and the visitor. Whatever come in town, it's already lined up to try Grammy food. Hey, everybody, once they get to first base, they dance his Grammy. Every time they get a hit because of the food. <laughs> of the food. <laughs> yeah, well, man, I'm telling you, we baseball players, we are crazy. You eat and you do good, you're playing on the food. <laughs> 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 Yeah, pica pollo, say pica pollo. Pica pollo. Pica pollo, yeah. When we come to the yard, oh, you don't ask for food, for just know those words. Pica pollo, tostones. Señores, llegamos a la comilona. Arriba, vamos arriba, vamos arriba. Vamos a esto. Había eso, vamos. Lo mejor, lo mejor. Saludos, ¿cómo están? Saludos. 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 Oh, and the juices here are crazy too. Yeah, mejor, mejor. The better, mejor, mejor. The best lime juice, the best passion fruit juice. Ooh. Oh, oh and, and the yard has the best ketchup. That's right. You know what? 
Yeah, it's like a little sweeter. Oh, you're right. The ketchup is sweeter. I'm telling you. It is a lot sweeter. No cap. What makes this chicken so good? Homemade. Homemade? Homemade. That's right. That's empty over there. The soul food. Oh, this rice is crazy. That's what I was talking about. This rice is crazy. That's Moro Wanduli. Are you again? Moro. Moro. De Wanduli. De Wanduli. Delicioso. <laughs> Are we hearing your music in the background? Rican, yeah, man, yeah. We've been hearing a couple times here. They, 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 they show me my love here in the yard, man. That's right. I I guess we, gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Let's do it. Of Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's how we play. No cuanto poco ahí, Yeah, man. Para frescar un ratito. Hey, that's right. We walked over here because we heard your music, Eladio. Let's talk Eladio. about the connection with music and baseball and why it's so important. Yeah, that's man, like athletes, me as a you know former athlete too, you know, and how it is to like I mean, try and get in the mood. And it's hard, you know, especially with so much stress and stuff. So music is a big factor for athletes, you know, to get in their zone, to get, you know, to get comfortable with their surroundings, especially like in an away game. I got a lot of punches where I mentioned his name. You know, I got my last song where, you know, Thunder and Lightning. I mentioned him, you know, Bunny mentions um, Mike Trout. So, like, you know, we got mad respect for him, you know, they inspire us too. So it's like we give and take, you know. Like, like Poppy said, dedication yeah. and hard work. Yeah, we, 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 we respect it, yeah. We respect the hustle because we both hustle in, you know, in our own ways. Athletes, you know, musicians, you, there has to be a certain level of determination and responsibility to get to a top tier level. And that's why how we understand each other. In the last few years, especially in, in America, We've really embraced, you know, not only Latin American culture, but Latin music and reggaeton. Unless there is. How wild is it to see so many other cultures embracing your music? Man, it's it's, it's amazing, you know. Like I think Latin American music is a, is in a very very special place right now, a place where you know we're being appreciated by other cultures. Like we are supposed to be appreciated, you know. Like we have really good music. We have really good, you know, artists who who work really hard. And it's just, it's cool to see like the whole world, like just tune in to see what we're going to do next. 100%. How important is it for you and for you, for y'all to have the right walk-up <clears throat> music? What, is, what does that do for you as you walk into the battle's box or getting ready for a game? I tell you what, Ramon, people sometimes don't realize that we are humans. Right. We have issues, you're like everybody else. Mm -hmm. When you take that feel, for a lot of people, they think we are superheroes, you know? music the lyric that they put together Dude, is I'm the day-by-day so day lifestyle especially for us coming from nothing that's why we connect so got, well uh, before i go to play you know then i listen my man music his lyric the music take things for us to a whole type of different level like for example that's you know, savage I have though, so many different walk-up songs, but the walk-up song that I use on the field were things related to my my personal life, my lifestyle, the way I grew up, things that connect me with. You know what I'm saying? What's that connection like for you? You know, picking your walk-up music. You know, being able to choose one of your really good friends' music as your walk-up music, and having him be such a big star. Me and him is like, like brothers, and when when you listen his music, you can they impact me. They they got like yeah. something they say that happened in my life. So that's why I say, okay, lot you always connections. Yeah, always yeah, yeah, yeah. the connections. You know what it is. Yeah, señores. Pero no queda una parada más. I'm taking my coconut. Gracias. about music for a while and I keep hearing that and I've seen this the vibe in the stadiums here in the DR at baseball games is completely different. The energy is crazy. The music is loud. The music is playing. Why is that? What's that connection going on there? Well, first of all, us Dominican, we are loud. <laughs> 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 we 
we loud at everything, you know what I'm saying? So what is going on at the stadium while we play is very That's familiar with what we do, on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we, we basically breed to baseball. Really has the most you know, baseball means a lot uh, to this country in a type of way that whenever we're playing winter ball here, guy like Vladdy decided to play. There's a lot of people in this country that they can't travel to the state to watch us play. And whenever they get the opportunity, watch us play here in our own country, it's another level type of experience. Like a party or something. Like it's, 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 it's very intense. You know what I'm saying? I always require the guys, hey, listen, whenever you can or have the opportunity to play in the Dominican, go and live the experience. Hey. Because that build you up hey. for the next step, which is the you know, I can tell. Like, By the way, okay. it's more pressure. Sure. Your family watching you play, then someone that know you yeah. don't know you watch you play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen, the they always want you to come through, and when you don't, the whole talk yeah. after the game is like, "Why you did this? Why you do that?" <laughs> Man, I'm telling Why you. Why you take that pitch? You know Why what I'm saying? It's a lot of pressure. So it's, it's less pressure when you're in major league. Oh, believe me, home. believe me. <laughs> so guys, as you know, 17 years ago, I was on the cover of the show. Yep. Man, I'm getting old. <laughs> and uh, I said, right now, we're going to see the cover. How my man looking. <laughs> hey, what was it all? Oh, here we are. Yeah, that's right. So you've been playing MLB The Show for a while, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Why do you love the game so much? I like I like the competition. You know, I like playing Diamond Dynasty with other people. So what about Road to the Show, Home Run Derby? Derby, nobody can beat me. Oh, nobody can beat you in Home Run Derby. We're about to find out about that. I'm pretty good at home run derby, man. Once I get my mojo going, you know, it's, it's, it's something to play on tour. Aren't you going to be All a right, so riding around, around man. had something to eat and got something to drink. Now we're going to play some home run derby and see if you're as good as you're going to say you are. Uh, home run derby. How did it feel playing in the home run derby this year and winning? You know, I, I went to one 2019 and lost. It. So I take a lot of advice with Papi, with my dad, and I, and Came I say, back with I, I, I has to win this one. 2019, you went off, though. You know that I always, I, I always get on Griffey because in real life, I beat him in the home run derby when he was in the big league and I wasn't able. Right. <laughs> <No way>. <laughs> <laughs> I always took a lot of trash to him. I bet he don't like that either. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, man, he don't I'm like that. You. Yeah, get out. All right, now we cooking with some gas. That's going. Oh, you got it. You got the motion. Right. You got motion. How tired do y'all get when you play in a home run derby? How tiring is it? Oh, that wore you out. Where's you out? That wore you oh, out. Oh, not both. I had a home run derby is the other day in my uh, thanks, like a Thanksgiving, sauce giving event. And he comes every year and they, they, they show love. They do a little home run derby. I did it the two minutes. I raised <laughs> my back. I got sick and everything. I was, I, I was hard. That was hard. Okay, I'm finding my goal. Oh, that didn't get out. Gotta get some juice. I'll be all right. I'll start, I'll start off. You better make me look good. <laughs> I, can't, I can't make Poppy look bad. There you go. There you go. Is Diamond Dynasty your favorite mode? That's, that's my favorite. Why, why? Because I get compete with other people that I, that I know. Sometimes we play with people we don't know, you know? Right. I like being him. Yeah, I you like being him. Yeah. Now you've been playing MLB The Show for so long. Was there ever a moment as a kid where you were playing the game and it really helped unlock anything in you to help you achieve something? No, it still helped. When you saw a minor league new Ruby coming up, I just go to uh, and you go the show and, the show and, and I, see, the game. I, I see how many pitches he got, you know, and and how hard he throw. He's different, but when I go to a play, I, I, I really it got gives it. gives you like, something. Oh, yeah. Somewhere man, Something like, okay. You know, we've done this ride to reveal here in your hometown. Like, you live literally down the street. So, one, thank you for, you know, being so open with us. You know, your family has been so great. Just Can you just talk to us and wrap it all up about just what all of this means to you to be able to share a part of your culture with the MLB The Show fans? Well, first of all, when you come from a third world country, 
that's a lot of like opportunity, you know. And, exactly. And whenever you get the opportunity to do something for you and your family, you're gonna grab that into the last minute, you know, and and, and, and try to to take things to the next next level and, and, and make that different. The Spanish uh, heritage is something that uh, throughout the history, there's so many people that have made that different that we know. And why not be one of them? Why not, you know, try to show the whole world what you are capable of? I mean, everybody talk about building up a legacy once you're done in life, because that's when that's when legacy begins, you know, and, and, and my man Eladio and the music, Building his He's building up the legacy. I and tell you, goes. people are going to be talking about him forever because of what he do. Vlad is saying, you know, this is a kid that, like I say, I'm very proud of him because all he want to do is get better and better and better. Like this guy call you out of nowhere. Hey, what do you think about this? What do you think I should do with this? What do you think I should do with that? He's young, but he's mature enough to continue building up and trying to figure out getting advice from his olders, you know? And me, I'm done with baseball a long time ago, but you never start learning. You never start learning, life continues. Yeah. And, you know, going back to you, Vlad, how does it feel to have all of this, like, be happening? Because you're still building your legacy, mm -hmm. right? I can call a lot of, a lot of people and, and try to just talk about, family just talk about how how I like, can get better man. like like a person, not like a player. Because like a player, it's easy. You can go and play hard and that's it. But outside, you have to learn a lot of things that can happen. And and the moment you don't want to happen, happen something wrong. In that case, I don't want to be in that case never. You know, that's why I got happy, everybody, right. my dad, Pedro, you know. A lot of you, you know, I, you can so take, much support. I can take a bite from them. Yeah. And I feel good because we work for that. Yeah. And when you when you see a little kid come to you and want to fish that made me proud of myself. You know, that I've been doing that, the thing like in my life. Yeah, you know? the role model. Yeah. The role so, model of so many people. Yeah. Yeah, which is just amazing. A lot of you, to bring it to you, obviously the DR loves you. Like you just had a few concerts here all sold out. It's crazy. Just how does it feel for you to be a part of all of this and just to see all the love that you get from the PR? Man, it's, it's amazing because me personally, and people who hear my music know that I make my music with a lot of love, a lot of intention, a lot of purpose. So the main reason why people really like, you know, you know, mess with my music is just because of that. And just to feel that genuine love, because you know, artists sometimes they get, if you're popping hot, they love you. If you're not, they don't love you to me. I just feel like it's more genuine because of the message you know, that we're, we're giving, right. especially we're to the youth, you know, so these past albums, we we're, we're talking game. more to the kids, like le talking less about, you know, things that don't matter, you right. know, trying to be, trying to be light, you know, just a role right. model, like, you know, Poppy said, like Valley said, because, you know, we got this gift that's been given to us. and we have to do the best that we can to use it in the best way possible. You've been on the show before, you've worked with us before. Dude. Your dad's been on the cover. Now that torch is getting passed to you, you're about to see your cover for the first time. Did you ever think that this would happen to you? Yeah. Yeah. He came out hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he came out hot. That's why. For sure, but I didn't even know that fast, bro. Oh, you didn't know that fast. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I was not happy with that. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, I never doubt my boy, you know, being able to be on the cover of the show. And it's because you know what he's doing out there. He's Brilliant. the type of player that he want to be better and get better. He do his own work. And that's what this game is all about, improving every year giving the fans what they expect from you. Exactly. And he's putting up a challenge. There it is. And it's a celebration. Like, all the hard work you've put in is for, like, moments like this where your friends and your family can be around 
and celebrate such an amazing accomplishment. Yeah. So we're really happy having you on the cover. Really happy you being here and a lot of you so happy that you're Thank you for too, doing man. this, man. Like, you know, just this initiative, like you being out here and like digging into, to, you know, our their culture. It's amazing. So I appreciate you. Oh, no, in. appreciate hey, y'all. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. It's so amazing. Hey, tengo una cosa que enseñar. Como tú estás. I like the young kid, man. I like him. Like, like it's, you can't lie. I don't want to recover. Like, that's savage, man. You know, we got that powder blue background. Yep. We got your home run derby trophy. got your signature. You know, we had to put your flag in there. Music, oh, like we've been talking all day, is derby. such a big part of Latin American culture. We have the music notes in there. We really, when we were creating this cover, we really wanted to feel very authentic to you and your heritage and where you come from. So hopefully we did a good job. Thank you. That's great, man. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, man. Another amazing oh, day in my country, the oh, Dominican Republic. My boy Blady Jr. once again representing Blady Sr. and myself passing the torch to the young generation of players coming up. Very proud, my boy Blady Jr being on the cover of the show 2024. God bless you. See you when I see you. And I got to go back and play. All right. Sweet. And we're back. So thank you, everyone. Uh, that was Ride to Reveal. Um, you know, we we've been making video games, sports games for a very long time. And mm -hmm. cover athlete reveals really just are the athlete in the art, right? Um, but we're in the people business and these athletes are people like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is a individual first. He's a human being, just like Big Poppy said. They, we all just see them as these amazing giant, you know, sports athletes, but they're people. Right. And we want to dig, dig a little bit deeper into, you know, you know, culture and cuisine and kind of fill in the blanks to how Vladdy Jr. got to where he is. Um, and that's why we went to the Dominican Republic and we shot um, this documentary. First time we ever shot a documentary, uh, which is wild. Uh, this was a major, major undertaking. Um, we shot this and edited it in not a very <laughs> large amount of time. Um, right. So big ups to our agency, Huge, um, for all of the work that they did. Uh, big ups to PlayStation Creative, uh, Matt Oka, Laura Brothers, uh, Paul Von Pretzelka. I'm going to mess up so many people's last names. I apologize <laughs> early. Um, Charles Eck, uh, Gavin Philippak, Janet Nielsen, Lisa Gibson, Adam Strain, Steve Scoville, Nico Menin, Tim Hook, Sophie. Sophie, I'm not even going to try to say your last name, but you know how I'm talking to because I'm going to mess it up so bad. Um, Ronald Ilano, uh, Norm Ilano, Alex Anaya. Uh, Bach, no, Dan Olson, Maya McKean, Melissa, I'm going to butcher your name so bad, Yazulo, I know I said that wrong, Dave Murphy, Ivan Herrera, Chris Park, photography, uh, Tarana Lazar, Adam Furman, Zach Barron, Carrie Smith, 
Ivan Herrera, uh, Fernando Rivas, Sheila Herrera, Anna Piguro, and all of the crew uh, from Two Caribbean. Also, a big thank you to our amazing hosts, uh, David Ortiz and Eladio Caron. Uh, we couldn't have done this uh, without them. And again, we, we just wanted to take a little bit of a deeper dive um, and go a little bit further ju than just, hey, who's on the cover and what does the cover art look like? Uh, we wanted to peel some of the, the layers of the onion back, and we hope you enjoyed uh, this documentary we created called Ride to Reveal. Uh, Vlad was great. His family was amazing. They helped us out so much. This was a, a very major undertaking, and we shot this like in like two, three hours. <laughs> um, we didn't have uh, a whole lot of time, but it came out pretty, pretty well. And we're, we're so proud uh, of what we were able to accomplish and deliver. So schedule, because I know y'all want to see it. Got schedule. All right. Let's go schedule. So collector's edition reveal. Let's go. Not that far away. Next Tuesday. And then we will start okay. With our feature premieres, All then right. we get into the ratings reveal, okay. another feature premiere, Dev Turney, another feature premiere, and All then right. we will be at launch day. Um, you'll get more information next week when we have the collective edition reveal, Ooh. and you can go to the show.com for all of your MLB, the show news. Also, the scouting report. Be sure to sign up for the scouting report. It makes it so easy for us to contact you and let, let you know every. Who you guys think is going to be the legend that's going edition. on in the world of MLB The Show? So make knows. sure to go knows. and sign up for the scouting report. I don't know. And you get a bunch of free monthly packs. Yep. If that's your thing and you like packs. Uh, that's it from us. Uh, we hoped you enjoyed Ride to Reveal. The reveal. Uh, we had a lot of fun making it. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. getting to take a little bit of a deeper dive into baseball and the dominican republic um that's it and we'll play the trailer and we out i'll probably play um i don't know i already got when you look back at your road to the top you can see it clearly celebrate the stops and what they unlock whether it's a love of the game, a desire to build your legacy, or an obsession yeah. to be the best. Every person, be every him, place stays with you and unlocks another level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey! Own the show. This is going to be interesting. Alright, man. Alright! Well, that's it, man. That is... I think that was a success. I think let me show you guys a cover again. That's I don't know if I want to get the legend edition though. Um I'm really excited. I really looking at the cover, man, I just I think I think it's a success, man. I think like I said, it is confirmed for the PS4. I might I don't know what edition I want to get. Cause I got the Special edition for WWE. I don't know if I'm going to get the regular edition for um, MLB The Show or what. Um, same with um, um, Madden 24. But that is, once again, your cover athlete. Um, it's it's uh, it, Vladdy Guerrero. Um, I love, I, it's so actually sweet. It says... Um, the Easter eggs they pointed out, the home run derby trophy, um, oh, the Canadian flag and the Dominican Republic flag in the thing, if you notice that. And yeah, I think, I don't know if what edition I'm going to get. I'll probably get the standard edition because I don't know what's going to come with the bonus edition. Um, I don't know if it's going to come with like special packs or anything. Um, so I know WWE, they, um, I've never like got a special edition of the show. I know WWE for their deluxe edition, like you can get DLC, um, like, uh, brustlers and, um, attires and all that. Um, that's why I always get the deluxe edition for WWE games. 
Now for like MLB The Show and Madden, I don't know. I don't know if it comes with special edition um, stuff. Like, but I think um, I'll have to see what edition fits me best. Same with Madden. I think Madden, I might just get regular. And MLB The Show, I might get the regular edition too. But Vladdy Guerrero is your cover athlete of MLB the show 24 for the standard edition. And then, like I said, once we'll see what the legend edition looks like, but I think, I think it was a success, man. I think it's going to be very interesting once uh, it, the game officially launches. And, you know, I might, I might get the show 24 along with Madden. Um, and then I think that'll be it. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching and see ya.